This is the first time anyone's been allowed inside to have a look at this incredible Brighton property that is going on the market with an expected price of around $50 million. That will smash Brighton's price record by double. The previous record was set just a few months ago, $25 million. This property, it's expected to need a fair bit of work, but it's 4,500 square metres. And as you're about to see, it's right on the waterfront. And inside is unlike anything I've seen before. this incredible Parisian feel about it. The paintings, the decor, the furniture, it all, it's also vintage, except that's not what the house will be selling for. The real estate agents are much more focused on the land, the location, the sheer scale of it, and the fact that it's right on the waterfront. The house itself is certainly not a mansion. It's a single story, it's got three bedrooms, one kitchen. It's just the size of the land. There's a tennis court at the back and a swimming pool at the front and huge, vast areas of just open land that could be turned into anything. But it would also be a shame because there's so much charm about this place. The attention to detail is quite remarkable. Even just how hilly this lawn is, is unique and unlike something you usually see in Melbourne. They anticipate that the buyer will probably turn it into something completely new, whether that's a renovation or a knockdown. There's a whole lot more flexibility to turn this into whatever the buyer wants it to be. The last time this property sold was in the 70s and it sold for $201,000. At the time, there were 200 bidders all wanting this property. Now, 50 years later, it is expected to sell for $50 million. This cottage is separate from the rest of the house and it's used by visitors who come and stay or family members. The real estate agents say there has already been a huge amount of interest in the property, some locally, but also from all around the world, including from London and Hong Kong. But there's every chance this property will be bought by a local who is very familiar with the Brighton area.